arrest an accused person in possession of 22 bank cards loaded with sums of money prepared for smuggling. So guys, they're they're arresting people. I love to see it because justice is being served over there in Iraq because of the systems. The cabinet held a a secession and reached decisions. I'm not going to go through those details right now. The Swiss are coming back. They are coming back into Baghdad. Iraq welcomes reopening of the Swiss embassy in Baghdad. That is huge. The The Swiss embassy in Baghdad. Um, also the parliamentary finance committee hosts the customs and tax authorities to enhance non-oil revenues guys customs and tax with all their six bordering nations outside of Iraq they're they're earning a lot of revenue through the customs and tax uh, now that they're open right Um, he goes this guy is busy taking care of his country much respect for him yes Al Sudani is taking care of his country he's doing what what um, what the country I love and know and love about our freedoms is they've lost sight of, you know, taking care of the people, except for maybe one, right? And you know who that is. Um, but don't comment down below on that. Comment down below on other things like you like the summary. Al Sudani underlines the importance of advancing bilateral agreements with various nations. Comprehensive U.S. economic agreement. So, guys, they are working with the U.S., so they're working with all the parties, but they are de-dollarizing. So, I, I mean, he's doing a great job. Like, it's amazing. Um, he also is related to the graduates of the medical and health professional. He's, like, making sure they're building hospitals, as I reported on yesterday, guys. Everything they, they need for a healthy country, they're doing. 